Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting down to film today a little video mainly on the Rimmel London Match Perfect Foundation. I was recently sent this in a Influencer Vox box so thank you very much to Influencer and Rimmel. Quickly I'll run through what was in the rest of the box. So the matching concealer which is the Match Perfection and and three liquid lipsticks as you would have seen in one of my other videos I was recently sent another box with five of these so I do already have five shades and this is a further three actually I think there's a double here so I've already got Be My Baby I've already done my eyes and I've kept them quite simple quite plain because I actually want to wear this really dark one on my lips so I don't want it to be like a too full on eyes lips look um, and I'm going to use the foundation and concealer so let me just tell you a little bit about the foundation the card says that it's now available in 25 shades so I do believe this isn't a new foundation but it is now available in extra shades it says it matches 99% of UK skin tones Smart tone technology for a flawless finish, 24 hour moisture complex leave skin feeling hydrated, soft focus power helps reduce imperfection pores and dark circles, medium coverage and it has an SPF 20, so you will need to watch with um, flash photography. The concealer says it's skin tone adapting formula available in 6 shades, banishes signs of fatigue, illuminates under the eye area and has a soft precision brush. Okay, so. I'll look up and let you know the prices of these. I have been sent the shade 102 in light nude. So when you first like get accepted onto Influencer and they send you emails saying that you're in, uh, they don't tell you the they don't actually tell you the brand or what it is you're getting, but they ask you if you were sent foundation, what shade would you be? So there was some shades and I'm quite light skinned. But it's coming into summer so I was thinking well I want to get the use out of it so I'll tick a shade that's a little bit darker rather than lighter but I am so sure I only ticked like the third shade down on the chart and with it being called light nude I would assume that this would be almost my colour however I have um, pumped it out and wore it once and it is dark like I don't understand why it, how on earth it can be called light nude um, that's it there on my hand and you can see that's it there on my hand and as you can see it is a lot darker than my hand it's really pulled kind of yellowy orangey uh, for being a light nude I really don't understand usually I would mix this foundation to make it work for my skin tone uh, just with a lighter shade but due to wanting to test it out for the purposes of this video I'm not going to mix it and we're just going to blend it down my neck and pretend that it does actually match seal I've also recently been using a Eco Tools brush to apply my foundation, so I'm just going to do that again today. It doesn't have a number or anything on it, but it's just like a kind of soft kabuki, quite a small. So let's just go for this. Let's just pump it out. So let's just pump it out onto the face. I think it is quite a full coverage foundation. Don't know if on camera it's actually shown the difference in colour to my skin tone. Let's just start with that and see if we need to go in with more. Turn my light down ever so slightly just to see if you can pick up the colour better. hydrating makes me think that it is it says it's a dewy finish I would say that it does have a real dewy look to it it is making my skin look quite healthy quite hydrated and I should say before I actually did prime my skin moisturized and then primed with the Mac prep Mac prep and prime skin visage and I have normal skin it's not dry it's not oily it's just normal and I can actually get away with using most foundations however I do have some enlarged pores and a little bit of texture here on my face see the difference in 
my face to neck so it will blend it down. So that's something to bear in mind when you're choosing a shade. Go in store and try them out. Don't pick online because I do be able to judge properly the shade that you actually would need. I would say it is a medium to full coverage. It has covered this little mark here quite well. It is not invisible but it's covered it really well and that little bit of redness that I had down there is also gone. It is leaving my skin looking really nice and healthy, dewy, I actually really like the way that I like. Let's see. And my pores are actually looking alright, they're not too visible and I have really bad smile lines here so we'll see how it settles in there. It's a tiny little bit patchy on my nose so I'm just going to blend it in a little bit. I'm just going to blend this down my neck. I actually don't know what's going on with this eye today, like as soon as I started doing my makeup it just went really bloodshot. So if it's picking up really red on camera, I don't actually know what's wrong. So now that that's the foundation on, I think you can all agree that my skin does look actually really nice and healthy. If I remember right, it retails for about $8.50. If I am incorrect, I will check that out. You can buy it in Boots and Superdrug and I think any other um, drugstore. Let's add in the Match Perfection Rimmel Skin Tone Adapting Concealer. So they've sent this in Soft Ivory. I haven't opened this or tried it, so let's see how this looks. I actually don't like these little brush type concealers. I much prefer the Dippy In Doe Foots. Oh no, you squeeze it. Okay, you just squeeze and it comes out of the brush. So let's just... Really thick. And it's really not the kind of colour of concealer that I would wear with this shade of foundation. I'd be looking for something a little lighter and a little brighter. So to make this work for me again, I would just mix it in with a lighter concealer, but for the purposes of testing it out, let's just wear it as it is. So it's not going to have a bright under eye at all. And I'm actually just using the same brush as I used foundation. it looks quite nice it's, it has covered up nicely all the dark circles under my eyes but obviously we can't tell if it brightens because it is totally the wrong color and there's no point in highlighting the rest of my face with it because it's the wrong color so let's set it down with some powder and see how it looks with that I'm setting it down with the Ben Nye translucent powder actually I don't think it's translucent yes it is it's fair translucent powder both under eyes and it looks quite nice it's not creasing or crepey or dry and horrible I actually quite like that I'm going to go ahead and set down my t-zone I'm just setting down my t-zone with this powder and my forehead my little smile lines and let, let me go and pop off camera finish my face makeup and under eyes and I'll be right back as you can see I now have all my face makeup on and I'm actually really pleased about how this has all blended together and sort of melted into the skin. I'm just going to come in closer. So as you can see my skin's looking really nice, the highlighter's in, there's no patchiness on the skin whatsoever and my skin looks so healthy and dewy. It's a really really nice foundation. I'm actually really shocked and surprised because Rimmel's not a brand that I would just go in store and pick up like I don't know why, it reminds me of when I was young and see even the smell like it reminds me of when I was young and I was using makeup so so I am really pleasantly surprised with how this look has turned out. As I said I'm going to go in with this dark lip shade so let's just get this on. I will say that I've got a few of these shades already that were sent to me and I did a first impression on them and I did say that I liked them. Since then I've changed my mind. They do not wear well at all. 
like I guess you maybe get two hours out of them and they are so uncomfortable like initially I like the formula I like how it applies it's nice and then honestly two hours it is rolled up into little balls and they're like in my mouth on my mouth on my lips like horrible 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 so I don't actually wear them anymore out I would wear them for photos but not out I haven't tried this shade so let's give it a go and actually it may just be my lips because I know that a lot of other youtubers like these went on really patchy and I did have to like build it up to get the colour that I wanted. It is in the shade Plunge and I think these retail at around £5 so like at a great price but I do think what's the point in even spending any money if they don't work at all. Try them out for yourself, see if it's, if it's just me that it happens to or it's everyone. But it is almost 2 o'clock. So let's say that I've had this foundation on since half past 1. I have got some stuff to do today, I need to go out and pick up my car and stuff so I might actually do a wear test and check in late tonight before I go to my bed and show you how the face makeup actually has held up throughout the day. On initial first impressions I do really really like it, if I had the right shade then I think I would love it. Um, I will continue to wear it and give it a good test over the next few weeks and maybe update you because I've done a few wear test first impressions and it and I've said like I really like the foundation blah 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 and then as I've went on the next few weeks and wore it more and more I've really realised that a lot of them don't work like and it's that initial and that initial first impression is actually not very accurate so I may plan in the future to do updated videos on these products but for the moment let me say that I do like this foundation so that pretty much completes this look. Thank you so much for watching. Hey everyone, I am back because it is only quarter past two, so an earlier check in than what anyone would have thought. And it is basically because the liquid lipstick is already moving. Look, you can see that little bit there that I've just taken off. It's just not a pretty look whatsoever. As you can see by the clock, I've only had it on about half an hour. And it is already going everywhere. Also a little update on the foundation. If you can see my smile lines, it's settled in really quite badly to my smile lines. Not that that is a big deal for me because it happens with every foundation. Let's hope the rest of the day goes well. See you soon. Hey everyone, welcome back. It is 25 to 9 and I have been so well at keeping this makeup on this long because all I've wanted to do is take my makeup off, put my hair up in a bubble and be lazy on the sofa. <laughs> um, so my lips are off, obviously. Um, I had dinner. To be honest, they were off long before dinner. So yeah, lips was an absolute let me get a mirror and have a closer look into my makeup. Natural face makeup looks fine. Um, it's not moved at all. I wouldn't say it is even shiny. It doesn't need a powder. It's actually not too bad in my smile lines. Uh, maybe I've got a little bit of shine there. But other than that, like, it is perfect. No, I tell a lie, my nose is patchy. Can you see that? Like, it's just really starting to break up on my nose. But, but I was cooking and there was quite a lot of steam, so that could have been the cause. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't have that with many other foundations. I would like to give it another try and use it with a different primer or like set it differently on my nose and see if that makes a difference because I, I think when I was doing it I said it had went patchy right away. The only other thing that I have to say is looking at myself in the viewfinder 
I look absolutely fine. But every time I look at myself in the mirror, all I can see is an Oompa Loompa. Like, it's so, so dark. I actually might try and turn down my lights to see if we can see how dark this foundation is. I don't even think that's made any difference. Turning down the light didn't make any difference. It's like a minor, minor little thing. If I had a bought the foundation, then I would have had it in my correct shade, so I can't really moan about it. Um, as a first impression, I think it's pretty good. Um, so if I finish the makeup at half, well I didn't finish the makeup at half one, but I finished applying the foundation at half one, and it is 20 to nine, it means I've had it on for just over seven hours. If I had given it another hour, which was my plan, that would be eight hours, which I think is a decent wear test for a foundation. I know it says 24 hour wear on it, but like, who wears a foundation for 24 hours, so. I don't think that it'll change much more than one hour, so I'm just gonna wrap it up here. I hope this helped you make a decision in buying this foundation if it was something you were thinking about. That pretty much completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button.